This takes us to where Jesus couldn't take you. Holy Ghost of God in the earth today. Holy Ghost of God in the earth today. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. And you walk with him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstrott. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. John chapter 16, verse 12, Jesus said, I have yet many things to say unto you, but you cannot bear them now. Then he goes on and says, How be it when he, say he, he. so obviously it's a person, mm -hmm. when the person that comes after him comes, he, the Spirit of truth, he will guide you into all truth. Mm -hmm. So there were things that Jesus wanted to say, but couldn't say. Mm -hmm but that the holy ghost when he comes will be able to say will be able to walk you into it yeah does that make sense mm -hmm. so he said he had many things is that two things mm -hmm. two things is not many so there's a lot of things that jesus wanted to say but somehow he was hindered and couldn't do it mm -hmm. but when you begin a relationship with the spirit of truth the holy ghost who is a person he will be able to guide you into those things that Jesus said he couldn't get you there mm -hmm. right yeah. well I too have many things that I would like to share the half of which we haven't been able to get to yet I haven't been able to get you there yet can you understand that mm -hmm. each week I attempt to get you farther mm -hmm. than you've been before but it is going to take the Holy Ghost worshiping him knowing him for us to get there that would be a problem for a lot of people mm -hmm. so do you suppose there are a lot of things that people might be walking around in ignorance over because they've not come to a new revelation mm -hmm. that the Holy Ghost wanted them to walk in yeah. they could literally walk in everything that Jesus said to them all of the things Jesus said to them they can walk in that word for word and still not be where we need to be Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 5 by faith Enoch say Enoch Enoch, Enoch was translated that he should not see death and was not found because God had translated him before his translation he had something he had a testimony that he pleased God he he him he he had something do you suppose he had something that other people didn't have well obviously because he was the only one translated and the Bible says he walked with God and was not for God took him so he had to have some kind of revelation he had some kind of relationship say relationship. relationship with the Spirit of God so that he could be translated when other people weren't mm -hmm. say when other people weren't when other people weren't and obviously he wasn't able to share those things broadly with everyone mm -hmm. because he was the only one taken well let's look at another instance of not everybody going along it's a very biblical principle that not everybody goes along mm -hmm. the remnant say the remnant. the remnant that's what a remnant is is a piece of the whole right mm -hmm. it's not the whole it's a small piece see i don't need everybody to get my message i need a piece of the whole mm -hmm. a remnant to grab onto it Matthew chapter 17 verse 1 and after six days Jesus taketh Peter James and John his brother and brings them up into a high mountain apart how many people three that Jesus took us four people 
say four people. four people was that everybody that wasn't even all the disciples no. that was a few of the main disciples mm -hmm. that went here jesus takes peter james and john his brother and brings them up into a high mountain apart was that with everybody no. it was separate from others am i making this up and was transfigured before them same word that enoch talked about translated transfigured mm -hmm. before them and his face did shine as the sun and his raiment was white as the light and behold there appeared unto them moses and elijah talking with him so there were already two others there yeah so now how many people five plus jesus <laughs> right was that everybody and here also we have a brief glimpse into a glorious kingdom that actually exists one that is powered by glory and you see that second corinthians chapter 3 and verse 17 now the lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the lord is or where the spirit is lord there is liberty freedom other translations say and a kind of liberty and freedom that you can't have unless now the spirit is lord verse 18 but we all with open face beholding as in a glass the glory of the lord who are we beholding we're beholding now the lord that is that spirit the spirit lord mm -hmm. we are changed into the same image from glory to glory even as by the spirit of the lord or literally the spirit lord these things happen as you behold know and walk with the spirit lord you're changed from one glory to another glory beholding his glory he is my new reality who is the spirit lord knowing him a living personality is he a living personality yes he walks he talks with you and me when you speak the word he sets you free he is my new reality walking in with him in this way and this is borderline i said borderline a new religion when you compare it to what we were doing before this is different this takes us to where jesus couldn't take you this takes you to where you couldn't go without him the spirit lord some people would say nowhere in the bible does it say you should worship the holy ghost have you heard this before mm -hmm. have you met these people you don't know him as god is the holy ghost god yes. should you worship god yes if you don't worship the holy ghost you don't know him as god so if the holy ghost is god then everywhere in the bible where it says that you should worship god it is saying that you should be worshiping the holy ghost yes a good example is revelation chapter 19 and verse 10 and i fell at his feet to worship him here's an apostle that fell at this angel's feet and was about to worship him and the angel said see thou do it not for i am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of jesus worship god is that in your bible yes does your bible say to worship god yes is the holy ghost god yes i could end my case here mm -hmm. nowhere does the bible say you should worship the holy ghost you don't know him as god mm -hmm. john chapter 4 verse 24 specifically says that god is a spirit who would that be the holy ghost god is a spirit and they that worship him 
a specific scripture that says you worship the Holy Ghost the Spirit God so people who say there's nowhere in the Bible that says you're supposed to worship the Holy Ghost it's truly an ignorant statement and like Paul says in 1st Corinthians chapter 12 verse 1 I would not have you ignorant well if you weren't ignorant of the Holy Ghost being God you would worship him and as you begin to worship him you'd begin to have a different relationship with him and he'd begin to take you to some place a new reality that you weren't in before if you don't worship him you stay where you're at meaning you don't go on you stay where you're at when you worship him he becomes the new standard of everything wealth included can you hear these things this is not the way it is with them the old guard they're founded on the wrong reality an old reality because he's not come in this way yet mm -hmm. to them this is a different universe a completely different place this is not the same I'm not preaching the same thing that they're preaching it's not the same have you heard me say this before it is not the same I am NOT like them anymore I was like them but I'm different now I speak from a different place my words sound different brother this sounds different it is different this is better have you ever heard of a glorious throne a throne of glory a throne means dominion over it's over glory glory is different than the anointing the radiance over which is the definition of power walk with me and be thou different remember Enoch he walked with God and he was different nobody else went along but he went along and he walked with God and was not and he had a testimony that pleased God and what's a testimony words you say I'm harvesting glory out of the light glory farming and I will talk more about this in the future I have much to say on it mm -hmm. but you got to get what I'm saying now knowing him the Holy Ghost as God and walking with him by saying words he creates a whole new thing say he, he creates, creates a whole new, whole new thing. thing it's not the old thing it's a whole new thing and you're either going to go with me or not see a lot of people think that when they go from glory to glory did we read that we go from glory to glory they think the next glory they go to is going to be the same as the old glory it's not the same it's different you're either going to go with me or not Matthew chapter 12 and verse 30 he that is not with me is against me and he that gathers not with me scatters we're harvesting glory glory farming say I'm a glory farmer I'm, a glory farmer. I'm speaking to the remnant remnant meaning the peace remaining if you got this far into this message without being offended you've remained listen word of faith Pentecostal full gospel you've heard of these things right mm -hmm. is the other why they don't worship me do they no. have you been in any of their services where they worship the Holy Ghost as God no they can't go here they're not going here 
you're the remnant a remnant is a piece taken out of the whole all of those will be the whole gospel the full gospel all of those people are you here i was one of them i would call myself every one of those things so you can't criticize me i know all this i preached all the things they preach but never this they don't worship the holy ghost as god can't go here there's a separation that happens separation equals holiness it's literally one of the definitions of the word come ye out from among them and be ye separate saith the lord a remnant is a remnant the whole no, no it's a piece of the whole mm -hmm. everybody likes to go we're all the remnant impossible all can't be remnant in the presence of his glory and you know the glory is supposed to be upon you right mm -hmm. isaiah chapter 60 arise shine the light has come the glory of the lord has risen on you we go from glory to glory we're changed by beholding his the holy ghost's glory are you still here yeah. i'm trying to take you to a place you weren't before and if you got off the bus when i said you need to worship the holy ghost well forget about it in the presence of his glory on you unrighteousness shall not maintain itself i'm talking about the world's unrighteousness will not maintain itself the darkness will cover the earth but the glory will be on you it'll be seen on you and kings will come to the brightness of your rising mm -hmm. are you here yes. unrighteousness all of the kingdom of unrighteousness will not maintain itself it'll it will fall apart in the presence of his glory on you say in the presence, in the presence. of his glory, his glory. On, me. on me you kind of see where we need to go huh second corinthians chapter 5 and verse 4 for we that are in this tabernacle do groan this tabernacle meaning this body mm -hmm. still in the body right mm -hmm. are you still in a body yeah yeah okay we who that are in this tabernacle do groan being burdened not for that we would be unclothed but clothed upon that mortality might be swallowed up of life we swallow it up mortality corruptibility unrighteousness gets swallowed up of life you thought this was going to end up in a cave you huddling in a cave waiting for the end to come wrong before this is over we end up owning it all Amen. just like joseph in genesis chapter 47 and verse 23 said behold this day i have bought you and your land the whole kingdom converted over mm -hmm. holy ghost i thank you for blessing these people opening their eyes to see something they have not seen before and yea says the spirit lord as you continue with me and let go of the old glory and take hold of the new glory you shall see things you've never seen before walk in a way you've never walked in before and life shall be on a level of greatness that could not even be comprehended by the old you welcome to the new reality if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me holy ghost you are the spirit lord i walk with you as god in the earth today the great things that you have for people in our day i begin to walk in for i am a remnant and i walk in all good things that you have for me in jesus name amen right.